All right, this is the nightreport.net here with Isaiah Wright here at St. Peter's. And Isaiah, a lot of good athletes have come out of this school, uh, a lot of signing days. What's it like to experience one for yourself? Yeah, this is uh, it's surreal. I mean, you dream about this moment ever since, you know, put on the pads for the first time. You know, you practice in front of a mirror, putting a hat on and stuff like that. And um, I'm, I'm just, you know, really blessed to be able to, you know, come to a great school and be co coached by great coaches and play alongside great, um, great players and be a part of a legacy that, um, that you know, speaks for itself. You know, a lot of great guys have, you know, come out of prep and I'm just, you know, proud to be one of them. So you took your official visit in the summer. Did you take a visit uh, recently? Yeah, I think a week ago. Or, okay. yeah. How'd you get to know uh, Coach Shiano more on that visit? What was yeah, experience? Yeah, um, I wasn't able to talk to him too much, but I was just able to see how he goes about things and how he interacts with people. And I was able to have a meeting with him, and I could tell that you know he's a great person. And I, um, from what you know, my coach says, and you know, uh, Coach Savon says that um, you, you could just tell that he's a great person. You know, the, the way he interacts with um, all the fans and all his you know players, it's just it speaks for himself. Um, he's he's just a, a good guy, and I'm you know really happy to you know be a player that that's going to be coached by him. So you played a lot of O-line this year. Mm -hmm. uh, has he talked to you about playing O-line? Does he know where he wants to use you yet? Yeah, yeah. He said that um, he likes he likes me on the um, offensive side of the ball, and uh, he thinks I could be an asset on, on the O-line. Um, I'm still going to train for both sides because I just want to be that type of player that could play any position for the team and, you know, just do what I can, you know, to better my team. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm, you know, happy to be on the offensive line. You know, I, I grew I love for it over the season, and you know, I just I'm just happy to get the job done. You know, wherever wherever I play, you know. And uh, have you gotten to know any of the recruits yet, or yeah. any conversations with them yet? Yeah, um, during the official visit, I was just I was able to hang out with um, with a lot of them, a lot of commits, a lot of guys who were just you know coming to uh, see the school and ended up committing. Um, it, it was just a great vibe. You know, they're all all good guys. You know, even though even some of the people that I played against, you know, at first it was a little. A little tension between us, but you know, you know, we grew grew love for each other, and and, and I think that love is just going to prosper, and uh, we're just going to work together to get the job done. And what's it like to just get this process over with? Overall, pretty strenuous process. Yeah. Uh, what's it like to finally get it done? Put that uh, that pen to the paper. Yeah, I mean, for me, the process wasn't really that difficult because um, I kind of always knew in the back of my head that I was going to go to Rutgers, um, but it's just now being able to you know really relax and say that. You know, I'm an actual college athlete now, and I could just start training to, you know, play in the Big Ten with a lot of great people and play against a lot of great competition. It's just a, a great, it's a great thing to say. You know, what I'm saying I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in a safe place, so uh, I'll go with God. Yeah. Does that right, guys?